Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to give you a very short introduction on getting started with the Node MCU or the ESP8266 12E. So to start with, what is the Node MCU? Well it's this thing here, obviously. Um, it's an IoT platform and it's based on the ESP8266. It's a microcontroller with quite a good spec. Um, and what's special about this module is that it has Wi-Fi capability. You can see the aerial there, the antenna, sorry. Um, yeah, it has Wi-Fi capability, so it can connect with your um, your router and, um, and other network um, infrastructure in your property. And that can be, of course, very useful. So what's on board? We've got the ESP8266 here. We've got a 3.3 volt voltage regulator. We've got a UART here so that you can um, uh, flash it and communicate with it via serial. We've got the two buttons here which are manual reset and manual flash, which you don't always need. A couple of capacitors to um, stabilise this and then one, of other, one or two other bits and pieces here. The pins, it has quite a lot of pins as you can see here all along. And okay, they're quite useful but they're also quite problematic. Um, they're not the simplest of pins, well this whole thing is not the simplest of modules to use. It's not without problems, but anyway, okay, here are the pins. Now, to be able to use this, you can use your own UART and connect to the RX and TX ground and 3 volts, but you can also use this here, which has already been provided for you, and that's what I'm going to use. So I've got a micro USB cable, which is here, which I can plug into it. Okay, so. I'll go through how to set this thing up now. Okay, so it's plugged in now, and now it's time to flash it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is to go to this uh, repository here. So it's at uh, https colon slash slash github.com forward slash esp8266 forward slash Arduino. And then when you're in there, if you just go down, well, you can read all about it here actually, and you can read all about the library, but anyway. What we want is we want the boards manager link. And the boards manager link is here. So if you just copy that, then go to a sketch and get a new sketch. And then go to file and then preferences. And then down here, just paste in the link and then click OK. And maybe it will load something up. I can't quite remember, it'll probably load something up, probably take a second or so. When you've done that, go to Tools, then Board, then then Boards Manager. When you're in Boards Manager, you can see Type All, um, and you can see Filter Your Search. Click in Filter Your Search, and then type in 8266, and you'll see this package here, ESP8266 by blah, 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 blah. And you can see down here it says node MCU. So click install there, and then while that's installed, click close. Okay, so when you've done that, just restart Arduino and then open a new sketch if you've not already got one open. Then go to tools, then board, then go down and you should be able to see the node MCU. Node MCU, where is it? There it is, right, choose this one, Node MCU 1.0 ESP 12E. Click that one. Then go to File, oh, when it's loaded, go to File and then Examples. And then these appear. So click on, or hover over ESP8266, and then click on Blink. And then the new one pops up. Then when you've done that, change where it says LED built in, change that to D7, 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 and we'll change this to 1000, and then we will save that. Okay, and then when you've done that, plug the ESP8266 in. Check the COM port. Right, I don't have a COM port at the moment, that's a bit strange. Just plug that back in. 
com 9 ok that's right and then upload that's controlling you if you don't already know while it's uploading I might as well show you the settings that I've got so tools I've got that board that's default that's default this I've changed to 115200 um, I can't remember what the default is for that I think it might be 9600 but this upload speed um, is of course how fast the uh, the thing flashes you can actually get it down here and it flashes really really fast but it's a little bit unstable so I choose 115200 okay so that's uploaded and now I'll focus the camera on it so you can see alright so back to the node MCU now if I get my LED now and just put it across D7 and ground you should see it blinking D7 I've got this LED twisted in a certain way that lets me uh, sort of bite onto it D7 to ground go you can see it blinking okay so that's how to quickly get set up with the node MCU once again thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to click subscribe if you're already subscribed thank you very much bye